This video will cover the installation of Philwright's 300 Series Full Rebuild Kit. Before continuing with this replacement kit, turn off and disconnect all power from the pump. First, you can disassemble the rotor and shaft seal. Start by removing the rotor cover. Then remove the gasket, followed by the rotor, vanes, and rotor insert. Then you can remove the shaft seal assembly from further within the cavity. First, use snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring. Then use small sized needle nose pliers or hooks to get the other pieces out. The shaft seal contains eight pieces. It may be necessary to push pressurized air into the weep hole to get the deepest pieces out. Now you can install the new shaft seal kit. First, remove the yellow cap off the end of the tube. Then place the tube over the motor shaft. Using the cardboard collar on the tube, push all the seals and other components onto the motor shaft. Install the snap ring last. Use snap ring pliers to place it on the motor shaft and push it back until it sits in the indentation. Once the new shaft seal pieces have been installed, then you can install the rotor insert, rotor, vanes, and gasket. First, slide the rotor insert into the back of the rotor. Make sure the rotor and the insert are aligned and slide them onto the motor shaft. Next, install the vanes. Ensure they are all facing the same direction. Then, place the rotor cover gasket in the indentation on the pump. Ensure it is properly seated. Anytime the rotor is replaced, the rotor cover should be as well to ensure they are the same hardness. Then you can install the rotor cover. Next, you can replace the bypass valve. The bypass valve is located on the front of the pump housing. To access it, remove the bypass cap using a wrench or socket. Then remove the O-ring. Next, using needle nose pliers, reach into the opening and remove the bypass poppet assembly. Now you can install the new bypass valve. Start by placing the O-ring on the bypass cap. Next, you can install the bypass poppet. Note the orientation of the poppet. It is critical that it be inserted the correct way for the bypass valve to operate correctly. The end with the tip is inserted first. Then you can insert the cap with the O-ring into the bypass opening. Turn until it is hand tight. Then use a wrench to secure. Thank you for watching this Fill Right Kit installation video.